Welcome back to Project Hospital. Welcome back to Campaign 1, where Kate Foster was actually just treated with a common cold. So uh, she's no longer a favourite patient um, because that was boring. That was totally and utterly boring. Um, how's your differential uh, going? We don't know yet. We don't know. She's got fever as well, which is a little bit unusual. Um, so Karen Hill made it into this little ICU room that we made, especially for her. They've got... Oh, yeah, look. Okay, so they've dealt with that. But look, we've got a problem here. Um, that could cause her to crash. That would be good to try and find out exactly what that is. Um, and look, they've got a whole list of things they're going to do. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, so where are we? And we have lots of patients. What are these? Are these the ones that have left? Yeah. Uh, so we want the ones what department not ICU what, what, why can't I not this one that's it but we want the game to play while I'm looking at it there we go right um, let's see so general surgery shall we look at these guys one two three four five we'll do five we'll do five of them well he's gone okay um, Casey, uh, right, we don't need these, we just need the antibiotics, there we go, but, I mean, he's, he's got it now, right, he's got it, uh, let's deal with this, that's not nice, um, we don't really know, oh, look, we've got a, a whole bunch that's gone through, with not yielding many results at all, really. So they're definitely going to have to do stuff uh, via the labs, I would say. Um, never mind, can't really help with that one. What's going on with this one? Antibiotics? Ooh, okay, so an interview. Do you know what we then might do? Kidney, we might do the, yes, that. We'll also go with that and then try this as well. Hopefully that will do the job. Um, Judy Foster here is having analysis, but that's not really necessary. We, d we didn't really need that, um, but it's happened. You know, it's happened. Uh, so Judy Foster, thank you very much. Now, because uh, you're probably going to be hospitalized, Judy. I'm sorry to say. Uh, Carol Green again. <laughs> um, yeah, d again, doesn't need this analysis, um, but we'll need hospitalization and an operation. Okay, um, you. Oh no, I wanted to try and stop that. We didn't do it in time. Never mind, never mind. We're a bit slow off the old mark. All these things are going through, look. Look, they're all going through and I'm not getting to them in time one two three four look that's all of them on this department uh oh going home lovely we love it when that happens let's go with this we really didn't need that x-ray uh which is a bit of a shame um okay we didn't need this blood test um right i think that's going to be a hospitalization isn't it Okay, there we go. Right, now I'm pretty sure that our labs are buckling. Uh, where are they? Is it here? Look at this. Look at this. How are they looking? I mean, it is still saying low across the board, but I feel some might want to put more in because they've got one technician. What, so what I'm thinking, what, what might be nice is if we get more technicians in um so let's reveal oh alcoholic so look linda here is great and what we can do is put yeah let's try 
try one purely on clinic and one on both clinic and hospitalized patients. Should we try that? That might be good. Um, how do we know which rooms they're awaiting for? So blood, blood. That one's urine, fungal, blood. There does seem to be quite a few bloods, doesn't there? Okay, blood does seem quite popular. And this I'm pretty sure here, I'm pretty sure this is the blood one, isn't it? Um, yeah, this is the blood works. Right, so I think, did, was Judy? Yeah, okay. So most of them, I think are four here. And now we've got two of them uh, working here. That might help. I hope that will help. It's hard to know, isn't it? I feel like it's hard to know <laughs> exactly uh, how well we're doing here. Because it, it really looks as though there's, n there's nowhere near enough members of staff dealing with this. Um, this is what happens when you get a whole new department. Yeah. Okay, so we're moving. Is he, the guy that was in here, was he doing anything? Where's he gone? I don't know. Maybe he's doing something based with, there he is. What are you doing? Oh, monitored patient is collapsing. Your staff will do their best. Oh no, Jordan Hill. Jordan Hill. What has happened here? Why are you collapsing? Why are they collapsing? I don't know, actually. There's no pulsating symptoms. Should we, um... I don't really know. We, we, we don't need all these tests, quite honestly. Because there's nothing... We just need all these meds. That's what we need. I think he's stable now, though. I think he is. What's happening with Karen Hill? So Karen Hill... Okay, I don't think she needs all these. She just... She needs... All that. Um, but yeah, I don't think she needs any more tests. I know we have a hidden symptom here, but it's not pulsating, so I think she's stable. I think she is stable. Um, now, John, John is not okay. John is not okay. Okay. We've got a problem here with John. Look. Uh, I think we might need to hospitalize him. Actually, I take that away. And I think that we should hospitalize him. Uh, yeah, we don't need that one. Surgeries and uh, and certain more complicated procedures require prior hospitalization. Sorry, what was that? Patient can't be treated. Patient needs to be hospitalized before surgery. Well, then hospitalize her. Why, why do you need me to... That's mental. What a crazy... There you go, just hospitalize him, get, get it done. That was crazy. So this guy, John Hill here, kind of wish that he wasn't, he's not very well. I kind of wish that he wasn't sitting here waiting for a blood result. Um, it's not him, is it? No, it is him. Yeah, it is him. Sorry, his clothes look different. They are running his blood, that might be him. No, it's gone for break. His blood is, example, is running on this right now. We really need to know what this is. He could collapse. We need to keep an eye on, on John Hill. They've gone home. Okay. Uh, and then we've got a staff member here. Now, who are these favorite patients? Oh my God. Objective for insurance company has been completed. Treat 20 patients per day at emergency. This is part of the, the new objectives that have... Uh, 
have been added to this level. Reward, increase clinic patients per day to 15, which surely we've done. Yes, objective for insurance company has been completed. Save a patient after one collapse. That's quite new, isn't it? Reward, uh, next one intern available for hire will be great candidates oh look at that so they've added that as a as a benefit that um the better your hospital the better the the stuff that you can employ that's a two-point thing and now we've got it in project hospital as well reach 80 percent prestige at the end of the day in emergency so it's quite specific isn't it that it that it wants to be in emergency um yeah um i how did i used to find that out before i think it is it just i can't actually remember budget insurance companies statistics no i think it was this one but it used to just look different where's this the satisfaction ah here it used to give a percentage though so that i had a rough idea maybe i just oh over here look at this so emergency Oh, look at that it's currently five stars we should be all right with this we should be all right with this this should be fine uh anyway so what is what is happening here you should be you should be okay i think he's going to be fine uh what is this though abdominal guarding okay interesting so this guy is still hanging around we're going to keep an eye on him um needs hospitalization but then hospitalizer what is going on here <laughs> what is going on here then do it there we go they're doing it I guess I'm going to have to start telling them to do that myself. They used to do it automatically. That seems to have stopped. Um, interesting. So what is happening with this guy? I think that he probably has his blood. Draw blood test. And he is waiting to go back in to see the doctor. Yes. Okay. Oh dear. I mean, he's looking really rough, isn't he? Is this blood test going to reveal this hidden symptom? If not, this doctor should be able to do these neck palpitations and and uh, measure his temperature. Where's he going now? He's going. Oh, he's being hospitalised. Good. I'm pleased because we definitely have a problem here. I'm worried about him, guys. I'm worried about him. I'm definitely worried about him. Right. Well, no rest for the wicked. We're going to carry on to uh, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, what have we got with you? Oh, monitor patient is collapsing. What? Oh no, Carol. So Carol, this is happening. Why is she collapsing, actually? She hasn't had a surgery yet. I mean, that's the thing. Okay. Well, you can't put her on the ICU. Don't think there's any room on the ICU. Oh my God. Another patient is collapsing. Dehydration. Okay, he's just collapsed in the corridor. Um, <laughs> let's put him in... This seems to be the only thing, actually. Let's put him in observation. Uh, yeah. And uh, something else we're going to do. Let's give him a drink. I mean, can we rehydrate this guy? No? I don't see the rehydration. Oh, there it is. Let's do that right away. Um, yeah, and then we'll just try and find out what's wrong with him. Because uh, we've got all sorts of things it could be. Um, actually, I'd like to, to do that. I've got heart things here. Art, arteries. But, mm, what could be good for this? I think I'd like to do this. Possibly this. 
this let's just see if that will narrow it down we've gone a bit overkill i feel um right anyway so he's gone home fantastic right kate kate golfer's elbow um an ice wrap and away with you oh look at this objective for insurance company treat 50 patients per day <gasps> we did it that is that is amazing and we didn't get one to replace it that was the top one so before the update we now would just have to get our bank zero to uh, our bank balance to zero and be done with it but we now have this this new one that's been added to it just to make it um a bit more challenging i guess what we could do given that we've just been given loads of money we could actually oops that's the wrong way pay some of this off there we go so we're now at two hundred thousand, um and it also brings down our daily interest so that's that's good she's gone home um athlete's foot uh, i really wish that we hadn't have done that but but we did because i do everything on high um uh, you don't need this either just have some rest um do you know what we'll do actually we're just gonna give you loads of drugs loads of drugs that's what we're going to do um now this guy actually needs an operation we didn't need this analysis test um but he does need an operation and i've got a feeling that he will need to go to general surgery for that regular hospitalization um he'll need this and then i'd like to treat his other ailments just so he's more comfortable while he's in hospital that would be great um so judy foster needs to be hospitalized she's going through a similar a similar thing if you could just have some regular hospitalization i've got a feeling we're going to run out of beds at this rate uh do you know uh, oh dana here's gone home now you're being rushed it seems that whatever was going on we've managed to stabilize a little bit and we do have a bed look here in the icu um needs surgery right so so what wh why do you keep saying this just send them there <laughs> so weird um right so he's come in for his rehydration and we're going to run a whole bunch of tests and see if we can find out uh what is in fact wrong with him uh one two three four five six right okay let's start here so yes she's doing the lab thing they're all they're all sort of doing the lab thing at the moment um yeah so he's in the blood this is blood work as well um and then he's free to go um you're having lab work which you don't really need Ugh. that's interesting we don't they're both antifungal let's just do that okay i suppose it could be a different antifungal ointment maybe i don't know but look they're all here waiting for their cultivations and stuff like that and i'm just not it's just it's not really necessary um we've been a little bit we've been a little bit slow um just trying to get back into the flow of things really aren't we um so we'd like to not x-ray this so we're going to go for a physical examination and differential and hopefully that will help us work out exactly uh what is going on here uh how are you doing over here sir are you we don't really know much more let's try this and this okay as well let's see what we can find out you've got some abdominal pain let's give him some meds for that okay so let's change departments here who else have we got boom and boom you oh wow okay well i mean maybe this will help work out what's going on here possibly um i mean we'll try that but i can't i can't i can't really see it working to be quite honest um right so you're waiting for what oh your urine analysis i just need to hospitalize them really that's all that needs to happen there um and then there's nobody 
waiting in this department. That's amazing. That is amazing, isn't it? Um, so what's going on waiting for surgical team? Could we not... Do we not need these? I suppose we don't really need those. She really is just waiting for the surgical team because nothing here is pulsating or looking dodgy. So we don't need any more examinations. Just, yeah, waiting for a surgical team. On what department? I suppose general surgery? I do have. I'm pretty sure I have. Because you don't have surgery for the ICU specifically. That's not the thing. It's, it's it's just not a thing. Um, I think we'll try not to worry about her for a bit. Uh, what about you? So you are, you're still here? He's still here, everybody. Mind you, they are running tests, okay. We're just not getting anything out of them. Look at all these tests that we've run. That hasn't told us any information. Out. Uh, diet modification. I don't know, but these are drugs. Yeah, there's all sorts of different possible... What's going on, David? What is going on? Uh, oh, look, you don't need an x-ray. That much we know. Just get some numbing ointment and go home. Thank you. Uh, what's happening with you? Okay waiting for this is there anything else that we could do that's not too no there really isn't okay he's looking a bit rough isn't he he's, he's not looking happy at all well, quite honestly really really isn't look at these these two don't have diagnoses just yet um let's see we could have lupus what's happening with you you need to triage at reception here we go um Okay. Yeah. Do you know what? Probably straight onto there. Looking at this. Um, physical examination. Definitely. Um, that would probably be good. I'm thinking that. Maybe even this. See if we can keep them out of the labs, you know? See if we can keep them out of the labs. Kate is down to two um, here. Um, so we might... If we listen to the chest and then maybe differential, that, that might work for us. Oh, there, common cold. We don't need those. Common cold, we've got it. Just some rest then. Might as well give her some other bits just to help her out. That'll be fine. Okay, that's good. So we got we got through. So we've got a new guy coming in here, who doesn't have a diagnosis yet. We've got Peter Clark and Christopher Brown here. Okay, you're being triaged in. Oh look, now this guy is a high risk. He's high risk. Um, he's hemorrhaging. He could collapse. He's going to the receptionist. We want to deal with this hemorrhaging as quickly as possible. I'd like to, um, I think, hospitalise him as quickly as I can. Here he comes. Um, we need emergency care on this guy. We need emergency care. Um, look. because uh, we've got an open wound and whatnot. There are no free uh, beds. I was concerned that might start happening. Um, what we're going to try and do is, is work this out without sending him to x-ray. That's what we're going to try and do, um, for sure. I'd like to try and do that. So now, right. No free beds. They want res regular hospital. Let's try the high dependency unit. Is there any free beds in the high dependency unit? Perhaps. Is there any free beds there? 
in general surgery? Can we find out? Maybe? No? <laughs> What's going on with you? Okay, so he's coming out of trauma center. He's got an awful lot of stuff running, doesn't he? And we hopefully when these come back, we'll be able to narrow this down. Uh, he's on his way trauma center hospitalization. Okay, I thought that was downstairs, but all right. Uh, obviously I was wrong. Um, this guy is looking ropey to say the least. Uh, so Jordan Davis, all oh, insomnia. There we go. So take some sleeping drugs and go home. That'll be, that'll be swell. Um, who else have we got? Peter Clark and Chris Brown again. Peter Clark. Now we're still, still working on these two. Uh, this one though, he's currently being examined. Can we narrow this down without him being sent to, oh, shingles, look at that. Let's get rid of these antivirals. That is amazing. Well done, everybody. Right, uh, still not sure about this guy. Um, he is hemorrhaging, um, so I'd really like to get this dealt with if possible. Um, and what's going on with you? Are you going to be hospitalized into the high dependency unit? Um, I'd like that. So patient John Hill here is collapsing. Uh, again, oh my God, TSH low level. This is low levels of TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. Oh, I, I swear this is new. This uh, We've never seen this sort of stuff before, have we? They, I, they, it's like they've put in a whole load of new illnesses and symptoms and stuff. It's amazing. Um, right, so he has a hidden symptom which could cause collapsing and two symptoms we know of that is causing collapsing. So, so, right, so the IV infusion is here. I'd like to give him these antithyroids there. But look, what is this here? He could really do with going into the ICU, I think. Um, okay, do we have uh, what, any free beds in ICU? Oh my goodness. God, this sort of stuff happens a lot more now, doesn't it? Uh, blood transfusion, it's on the list. It's on the list, okay. Um, where is ICU? No, there's no room in ICU. Uh oh, uh oh, because even that single room I noticed was was full. Look, ICU's absolutely chocker. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! We've got ourselves into a situation with this. Um, we really, really have. <laughs> so this patient's come in. We've got Peter Clark still here, who I think is just waiting for lab stuff. What kind of lab stuff? Right, okay. This guy, I think, might be? Could be this one. I forget which room's which. Um, I'd have to come into here. Yeah, this one. So it could be that critical in the day, yeah. Okay, he's about to finish work. So, it, yeah, we've got, we definitely need more stuff. Look at these, critical, high, high, critical, critical, yeah. So, as we expected, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that because they're just probably going to go home now um, and come back at tomorrow. Although this guy, my goodness, can we hospitalize this guy or can we do something to stop the hemorrhaging? I think he's getting his emergency care, so we might be able to do that. There is no free bed required for John yeah um there is no free bed for jane jane wants to go there too oh my goodness john and jane both need to go there wow okay what could i what if oh you won't let me actually change the department okay that's not helpful in any way. Um, I can't. There's nothing I can really do. Um, 
in in here right you're in here see i feel that he's okay now he's had his surgery and everything but i can't patients can only be released from icu after being treated so i can't send him anywhere else even though i feel that you know the worst of it is over same here do you know what i mean the worst of it's over go and send her to high dependency or something this one hasn't had their surgery yeah it's a little bit frustrating you know i feel like i want the freedom to be able to move them and and then live with the consequences i want the freedom to make those mistakes do you know what i mean um that's that's what i want um Uh, again, there are, yeah. Hmm. But sorting out the um, all the chem stuff, all the lab work, could push people through these a lot quicker. So here we are. We've made it to the room workload. Um, so if we open up statistics, two critical rooms, and we were not surprised, and high in medical laboratories. So, I mean, we know this. Um, we've got no money now though. So after paying all, all that money off, I'm going to have to borrow a load. Um, so let's have a look. Um, so, two in the day and there's actually no more room to put more in here uh, and I definitely need to put more in there we don't know what the nighttime load will be at the moment um, so what we're going to do is borrow a bunch of money um, now going to put another daytime lab worker in here what have you got here comforting and a hard worker so it's going to be you you're going to be doing that um you um yeah can just work on clinic patients so probably tried that out this is critical as well so let's get another we don't know about that yet neurology though it's not really what we're after is it will you work in here you were working here okay but we're going to change you to <laughs> okay and probably take you off of that what's this guy like yeah okay we don't know the night time loads yet so this is critical although we did hire her halfway throughout the day so i think i'm going to leave that one for now and just sort of see how that goes um now do we have any other no criticals no yes uh Right, general surgery had some criticals. General surgery. Over here? No. Up. Here? The, the wards? The wards. Very, very high and everything, but no criticals. Oh, look. Oh look. So what we have here is diagnostic rooms and everything just being completely overloaded here. So we could do with building I don't we don't have really the money to do it, do we? Um mm, we don't really have the money to do it. I think we're going to have to live with that one for now. I don't want to keep taking out loans because we we now have the objective to to clear our debt 
Um, and then in orthopedia, there's also a problem. If it's if it's a matter of hiring staff, I can do it. Because we've got critical at night. Critical at night. I mean, I'm assuming I have a staff member to do it. You know, should I hire another one to do that stuff? Early bird. That's a shame. They're an amazing member of staff. They are actually an amazing member of staff. Um, my goodness, they are incredible. Um, but they need to be on the daytime. Who could I put you assist? Uh, no. Uh, no, I actually need to move a daytime one, don't I? You. You're fine. So what we could do, we could move them to night. And the one that we're now missing, who is it that... Who is it I just employed? You. Is it you? Yeah. I don't see her there. Right. There. I think. I guess we'll... I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. We'll see... We'll see how that goes. Wow. Are they... Yeah, so much going on. Oh, readjusting the hospital to make all this new stuff work. It's tricky. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa.